Shopify just released its own AI assistant called Sidekick. And this is now available on early access to stores that have put in their email address and website into this form fill. And so if you haven't yet, check it out. I'm gonna show you the main features on what this Sidekick can do, including making direct changes to your Shopify store as an update this product, do this SEO. It can actually do tasks within Shopify which is amazing. Still some work that needs to be done there, but all around amazing. It can also give you great insights into your analytics and direct you to the right reports within your Shopify, speeding up your analytical process much quicker. And so this is a must have if you are managing or working on Shopify. We already know most of the great reports and this thing has gotten most of it right. The last thing is just creativity and uh, content and all of these kind of things. So coming up with a great sub line, a great blog post, ideas. It knows your products and your store very well. This sidekick can help you as an overall just AI chat GPT kind of reply brainstorming session. So those are the main functions. We'll go through a specific examples. You know what? Right now, let's just jump into Shopify and I'll show you the agent so you can decide whether you want to add this to your store. Once you're accepted into the early access, you'll see this little sidekick right up here to the top right of your Shopify platform. You can click onto that. It makes this little embed and I love it. It's your sidekick. And now don't forget this is on early access so this should improve over time. You can also just click control and pop open this bad boy here. Now it starts off with just what would you like to do? So it gives you use cases every time you open it. If you're bored and you wanna improve your Shopify store, it's a good place to start. So some informational queries by this little question mark here. So how can I improve my page load speed? I mean, this is going to be general, you know, probably similar to if you ask ChatGPT, but it's just going to include more knowledge within the Shopify database. Um, where can I see my self-serve return settings? That's a navigation icon. So it's just something that navigates you to a page on Shopify. Now, here's an interesting list customers from the past 90 days. So if we click on this, we can actually see it working on the segment. And now one of its tasks that it can do is create segments of customers and different features. This is really useful for analytics. If you haven't done this in Shopify, it's great. Now in this case, it looks like we need to upgrade our analytics, so it's not allowing us to do it. If we pop open a new chat, we can see we have a whole new uh, list of questions here. One of those features it can do is that segment, so we can see that by the segment icon. Next, it can actually create things. So this is by the plus icon. So we can see create a test product, stainless steel water bottle. It's durable and eco-friendly. We can actually have it create that. Now, one of our favorites here in the agency is the analytics icon. So any of these are going to be analytical questions that you can ask the sidekick. And remember, this is just, you know, to get you used to what the functionalities are. I'm trying to explain that as efficiently as I can, but we can ask anything. So we can say how many orders from new customers this month from uh, Google Organic. And let's see if it can do it. And the analytics seems to be needing an update on this. So I actually just went ahead and tested it on a couple different Shopify stores with access to this. And it looks like the analytics isn't quite working yet. So there's not a clear way that we can get to the new analytics. So that might be an issue with it being so early. Uh, we'll make a follow up video and check out the analytics side. Now, of course, you could also, you know, say update SEO title and description for a product. And then you could say, you know, whatever it is, the name of the product. So, and then it will search the products and you can find one of those to work on. And then it actually previews the change that it wants to make. So like, here's the SEO title tag it recommends and the SEO description. Like you don't seem to have much ability on what that prompt actually is based off of. You know, uh, why did it decide those things uh, versus anything else? And being in early access, you still, you know, there hopefully will still be quite a lot of improvements here. So I did update that and all I would have to do is click save and it would update it, which is pretty awesome. Um, and now I can see, can you do this for multiple products? Can you do it for all products? Now that would be dangerous, but I'm curious. Wow, so it reportedly can help with uh, updating all titles products. So let's say you help me with just products. Yes, 
Yeah, now the actual legitimacy of these changes, I mean, it's AI, it's probably just open AI servers. Definitely be cautious, especially in early access of just bulk applying SEO updates. But this can be very good. So if you have abbreviations in your titles, SEO generally is better with more description. You could even see about bulk updating those directly with the sidekick, which is crazy. If you're a Shopify nerd like me, you probably use Matrixify to update product details. If you have a lot of products, tags, all this stuff, this may just replace Matrixify, especially once they get used to it. Cause if I can update a thousand products, all of my product catalog to include certain tags, to include the right vendors, you could see this becoming very useful very quickly. Although it will take time. As we can see, there's already some issues we've encountered. And so it's interesting, but definitely something you should get signed up for because this will be very powerful. And you can see it can also just reference specific locations so you can manage custom fields for products here in the product meta fields. And it'll actually go to the product meta fields. So another use for this is just to speed up your process of learning Shopify, especially if you're a new merchant or even old merchants, they're adding stuff all the time. So it's super useful to just, you know, have this AI that can tell you where to go to do what you want. I um, mean, of course, with your prompting, I'm, you're probably familiar with AI, but uh, you want to be very explicit, you know, say, hey, I am trying to do X, you know, here's the different questions. I want to do this and that and the other thing. And we can test out what its responses are. Now, a couple other things you can do, I think we went over the biggest use cases, is really just content and kind of using it as a chat GBT that understands your products a little bit better. You can get a similar result just by uploading your products to chat GPT or similar. So, you know, it's nothing revolutionary, but you know, here I had it right in LinkedIn post about some of our products and so on. You can you know, now change that to a email newsletter. So you can kind of create content with it, but you know, nothing really exceptionally different than what you can do with any AI, but it can do content creation and it does have access to Shopify's database of help and content. And it also has access to all of the data within your Shopify platform, such as your products. So there's kind of some interesting ways that this can be used. Anyway, so let me know what you think about Shopify's new sidekick. We're gonna do a video here in a couple of weeks once they fix up that analytics thing and you know make some improvements and then refresh to see what we can do with this tool. Overall, uh, a lot of same things we see in other AI tools if you know what you're doing, but it's directly within Shopify and it also has access to the platform, to your products, and to even doing actions such as creating segments and creating tasks and products and so on. So a lot of cool abilities with this new tool. I'm excited for it. So let me know in the comments what you think about the sidekick and maybe the future. You know, there's gonna be a lot of new developments I think with this functionality where the sidekick could do, you know, all kinds of stuff. Maybe at some point it could just optimize your store for SEO and so on. So I'm excited to see what is new with this tool. Let me know your thoughts. If you are interested in our uh, future videos on Shopify updates and how everything is changing in the world, you're welcome to subscribe. Give a like if you got some value. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Oh, and also if you are a Shopify store and you want to chat, I also have a calendar link. So thank you. Bye.